I just rolled in Bridgeport not too long ago, hooked up with Angel. This is Angel, ConnecticutCopBlock.Webs.com. How's it going? Good, what are you doing? I was just, uh, wanted to have a conversation at some point, but I just saw you in there, so. Okay. Uh, so why are you taping me? Turn that off. Uh, I have a right to film you, don't I? What's that? Are you saying I don't I, have a right to film you? I don't want to be taped. Well, are you a public employee? What's that? I said, are you a public employee? Yeah. So, have so you conversations over that. How's that? Well, you can choose not to talk to me, but I have the right to film you. This episode of Cop Block is brought to you by Freekeen.com. It's clear that dude didn't want to be on film, man. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Can I ask if you're on, uh, you're getting paid right now? Can I get your badge number, E. Golding? So it's E as in Eric, and then Golding, G-O-L-D-I-N-G. Can I tell you about a, a resource? I'm on a public sidewalk. Am I not? And where's that number from? Where's that number from? And where is that number from? I'm asking you a question. Look it up. No, you tell me. You work for me, man. So, would you would you pay for that kind of? Yeah. I not pay taxes for that. Three cop cars. About one car. That's some good footage. We're parked down here. We're in Bridgeport, corner of Spring and Noble. What's up, man? You want us to take the cameras for evidence? Why is that? Because that's evidence. You're using it against us for evidence, right? To me, that's that's called stealing, but uh, it's what it's whatever they say these days. So we could take it and take it for evidence. I'm not using it against anybody. I, I'm in. So, I'm, you know what we're doing? Why we're doing it? Why we're doing it? I'm like recording cops. Am I in the public, sir? And, and I have the right to take that camera and take it as evidence. I don't believe that's true. Oh, I believe so, buddy boy. What started with uh, three cruisers, police cruisers escalated upon our arrival. There's another cop. Car D as in David 7. How's it going, guys? Hey, guys, how you doing? Good, how y'all doing? Good. I uh, just filming for transparency, make sure. You know, there's an objective record for everybody's safety. Okay. Would you like any information? Sure. Give me some business cards, please. How's it going? Get on me. Can I ask you not to shine your light on my eyes, please? So the squad in the back is a Charger G as in George, 38. This is G31. Ma'am, do you have a second? Since when is uh, filming in a public space causing anybody a problem? Maybe only to the people that are hurting other folks. It's clear the uh, police employee engaging the driver isn't fearful. He has his hands in his pockets. He's, you know, essentially it looks like he's just having a conversation. She got her marching orders, shine a light on them. But we're definitely well within our rights to film. So you gotta ask yourself, Bridgeport residents, if you're watching this, is this the kind of service you wanna pay for? How's it going? 768 BPT. How about I uh, just get my phone charger from my bag and we walk back? Watch by the watch. Yep. There's another one. This is why Bridgeport, Connecticut, and Connecticut in general needs to take accountability for police officers like these. And two Bridgeport PD. They've just been hanging out. I got a ticket on my truck. $50 for parking on or obstructing sidewalk and or sidewalk area. So it's not on the sidewalk, yet I got a ticket for obstructing the sidewalk. How's it going? Can I have your name and badge number? Yes, it's Officer Juliano, badge number 537. How's it going? What's up? Can I have a conversation with you? Stay right there and have a conversation with you. What's up? Well, do you mind turning the light off? I can't really see no, you. No, because I need to see it's kind of dark out here. Well, can I shine a light at you? Sorry? Could I shine my flashlight in your eyes? Uh, I wouldn't do that. Why? What's your uh, conversation about? Can I ask you why you think it's okay to shine a flashlight in my eyes if I want to have a conversation with you? Stand right there and talk to me. What's up? I would request that you lower your flashlight so I could look at you like a human being and have a conversation with you as a uh, person. I'm not flashing it in your eyes. Well, I cannot see anything but a flashlight. You can talk. Are you this robotic that you can't think and, and be a human to somebody else? Do you lack empathy? 
do you do you do you I feel question, do you feel good when you cash your check at night? Listen, look at the way you're acting. You claim to serve and protect, and you're out here bullying people around. Why don't you have a conversation with me, man? Treat me like a person. I don't see anything wrong with our conversation. Can I ask you how your salary is paid? That's none of your business. Do you know that we pay your salary through taxes? And that's how you're getting paid to serve? Taxes too. Huh? Yeah, but that money that you're using is stolen from people in this area, and you go around and bully them like you're bullying us right now. Would you honestly say that most people in this area would be willing to pay for the actions that you're now giving to pay for this claimed service of protection? So, so. sure. I mean, I thought he was. You know the uh, the noise, the noise and the light are psychological weapons used against people to try to like wear them down. Is is that? what you guys are striving to do? Has this been taught to you guys to do to people that are questioning? I'll, I'll make a deal with you. I will answer your questions if right now you sing God Bless America. Do you think your actions tonight are perpetuating the ideals expressed in that song? Well, stay safe, guys, and... Keep up in the work. Please don't harass folks that haven't harmed anybody. Going right in. All right, brother. All right, brother. Good to see you, man. We yeah, inside. Yeah, I'll be in touch, dude. All right, Dad. Yeah. Please be honest on your video. I will. Like us on Facebook. Hi, officer. I, I'm recording this phone call for public record. I was planning on doing something. Maybe you can direct me to the right person. Bridgeport Public Safety, operator 96. Hi, um, I'm, calling, I'm recording this phone call for public record. Uh, I have a question. I have a really bright handheld spotlight, and I was going to follow, follow Officer David Giuliano around. His badge number is 537 and shine my spotlight in his face. It's about 800 lumen spotlight, so it's about as half as bright as y'all spotlights on your car. I was wondering if you had any advice for me doing that. You said you're going to go around and shine a light in an officer's face? Yeah, Officer David Giuliano, badge number 537. Pretty much throughout right, the... So are you making a threat against a police officer? Pretty much during the duration of his shift, I was just going to follow him around and uh, shine the light in his face. For what exactly? Uh, well, it seems like it's uh, uh, y'all's policy to uh, shine lights in the faces of citizens. Engage in a First Amendment protected activity of documenting public officials. So I was wondering. Oh, okay. Can you just hang on one second? I'll grab someone that can answer your question, okay, sir? Thank you. First call, public safety supervisor court. May I help you? Hi, I'm recording this phone call for public record. I have some questions. I have a really bright handheld spotlight. It's about now. shining the spotlight in Officer David Uliano's face. Uh, I was just wondering if you had any advice about that. Yeah, not to do it. Why? Why wouldn't I do it? Because you could be obstructing him doing his duties as a police officer. Uh, I'm not sure if you have a uh, if you've seen the video on YouTube on a, on a website called Cop Block. There was a group of citizens who were engaged in their First Amendment protected activity, uh, documenting public officials, and Officer Giuliano proceeded to shine the his uh, spotlight and his handheld flashlight in the face of Pete Ayer while he was documenting them. Um, and so he was obstructing uh, Pete's First Amendment rights. So I was just wondering, I mean, if he can do that to us, I was wondering if I could do that to him. Well, if you'd like to discuss that further, I suggest you go to 300 Congress Avenue and discuss it with the front desk officer or perhaps somebody uh, of authority at the police department. But I am advising you not to do it. Obviously, I know that's illegal, and I, and I wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm then just, why were you asking? Because I'm making a point that, uh, you know, you, officers okay. around the country do this to citizens all the time. Okay, well, I don't believe that you're uh, addressing your concerns to the proper forum. So um, I've advised you what you've asked, and that's uh, all I can do at this time. If someone here in Bridgeport were to see that video, what kind of reaction do you think they might have? They'll know that cop lock is out there. 
Um, they'll know that our pur purposes and intentions are good. We're trying to uh, make people, the people, aware um, that there's, they're not alone. 